Hey everyone, as always, Dylan, MillerProspecting.com. And today is the last of the lesser family gold. This is bag number four. It's technically treasure sack number three, but it's bag number four. And as you can see, yet again, I've had to dry it up beforehand, thus it's out of the bag. And so far I've had some hits, some misses, some lows, some highs with the other three bags I reviewed. I found a lot of gold in one, a little gold in some of the others, some trinkets in some, some trash in some others. And this one so far, I have found two trinkets and some wood. Now this doesn't bug me because I know it's coming from, a, you know, they use water and stuff. But this I found kind of funny because in my last bag, I did not get my guaranteed trinket. And yet in this bag, I got two, which makes me wonder, if did they make the last bag and say, oops, we forgot the trinket, put two in this one. Or, I don't know. So, anyway, let's get to it. This, again, is from LesserFamilyGold.com. This is their treasure sack number three. It's a mini gold nugget treasure bag. It's guaranteed 1.25 grams of gold. It cost $99.49. Shipping was $7.15 for a grand total of $106.64. So let's classify this down. I'll get rid of my trinkets and my wood. And we'll see what this has in it. So again, like in all the other ones, this is very, very, um, shall we say top heavy material. The vast majority of this is in the plus 10. Um, I didn't expect anything different from the other ones. I have seen a few pieces of gold already. Which makes me think the majority of the gold will also, as usual, be in the plus 20 range. Either plus 10 or in the minus 10 plus 20. Now, I have been finding some gold in the minus 20 plus 40, but really not a ton of it. The majority of it has been and the larger stuff, which normally I would say would make a great bag for kids, but because this pater is so full of pyrite and mica, it makes it a really difficult bag. It's also got a ton of black sands, so or magnetite, which makes it just as difficult. So it's a, you know, there's no small gold, so that's easy, but then the gold, the, the pater itself is pretty, rough so i don't know this is more of a in beginner i mean i guess with a plus 10 a kid could go through that pretty easily then all this a parent could go through but all right let's finish panning all this out or classifying it out As you can see, as usual, the majority of this is in the plus 10. Now this bag, I believe weighed one pound and I think it was like 12 ounces or 13 ounces. It was a really heavy bag. But again, probably a pound of it is in the plus 10 and you get a very little bit in the other stuff. Now let's see, as usual, if half of it or more is magnetized. And yes, so far this is sticking with the trend of it being heavily magnetized. So, you know. All the bags are really consistent in the quantity of what you're going to get and stuff like that. It's a little bit, so far, had some problems with the trinkets and the treasures and other stuff. But let's just get into it. Let me go. I'm going to start panning this out and see if I can get some gold. Be right back. All right, finished panning it all out. And a little bit surprising is, again, lots of quartz. With the pyrite, some really big pieces this time. There was a lot of it. I just took a couple out just to show. A lot more copper. I'll get into that in a second. Gold in the plus 10. Four really nice pickers or nuggets, whatever you want to call them. Probably pickers. This one is the biggest. This one ended up weighing 0 0.66 grams. So this bag was guaranteed to get 1.25 grams of gold. Just these four pickers alone equal that. They actually weighed out at 1.29. Then in the minus 10 plus 20, 
Um, about 40 small little pieces in the minus 20 plus 40, another 40 pieces in the minus 40. Yet again, out of all four bags, nothing, absolutely nothing. And I even ran all the material after I just finished doing this through my mini sluice with the vortex matting and nothing, just nothing that was in there. Um, the gold dime is for comparison, so you can see the size. A lot of people have been asking me about the gold dime. The reason it's gold is simply because I was looking for a dime with my year birth on it, and I couldn't find one anyway, so I looked on eBay. I said, I'll just buy one off of eBay. What are they going to charge me? A buck for a dime or something? I didn't care. And it just so happened when I did the search, a gold-clad one showed up, so I was like, I'll buy it. You know, might as well. It's gold. I'm doing a reviews on gold pay dirt, so... That's a little story I've been getting a lot of people asking me. And I always use dime picks in them on my website. So, you know, I use it for comparison to size. So you can see, you know, the size of the nugget compared to a dime. All right. So I will be right back. Oh, wait. Let me weigh this all up for you. I'm not going to be right back. I'm still here. All right. I'll do this. Let you listen to some little music. Scale's all zeroed out. Have my daughter's purple paintbrush. Let's see what we got. Pretty impressive. 1.85. Call that four. Yep. 1.854. So I'm gonna be right back with my recovery of investment and my review. Well, finished taking all my pictures, crunching my numbers, so let's get right to it. This is from lesserfamilygold.com. This was their treasure sack number three, the mini gold nugget bag. Cost $99.49. The shipping was $7.15. Total cost $100. $106.64. So, one of the things I'm going to get to is, as you, I showed you earlier, this time I got two trinkets, which is, you know, I don't know if it was to make up for the last bag that I got no trinkets from or if it was just per chance that it happened, but I did get two trinkets in that. And I also got some copper, but I will get into that in a few minutes. But let's just get into the numbers that everyone wants to know about the gold. I recovered 1.854 grams. Gold spot as of today is $42.24. So gold recovered was $78.31. So pretty good. The ROI, my recovery of investment was $73.43. So much better than any of the other bags I've got. And it also makes me wonder, my last review I did with the Bag number two is I thought maybe I'd gotten a, one of their bonus chances where you win a gold nugget, but I'm starting to think maybe I didn't because in this one, you know, my Roy is kind of high. I really seriously doubt I won two out of four bags and this was not shipped to me. I had someone, a friend of mine in the other side of the country order these and it cost me an extra 25 bucks to have him ship those bags to me. So there was no way they knew it was going to be for me. Because this is somebody that's never ordered pay dirt for me before. So it was a brand new, I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe they might give you a higher ROI or ROI for the more you spend. And there's a lot of sellers that do that. Where when you're spending 30 bucks, they give you a 50%. If you spend 60 bucks, they give you 60% and more so and so and so. Because they're still making more money. So that might be the case. And that last bag I did might not have been a bonus bag because I really don't think this one is. I, one of these wasn't. I really just don't think I got two. It just If I did, I my buddy's got some good luck and I'm going to start having him order all my pay dirt because I need bonus bags. I need to recover more money. So let's get into my review. For the ROI, it got a 7.3. 
For the fun factor, I'm actually giving this bag a 9, which is the mo the highest I've given all the others. I'm still not a fan of these trinkets. I didn't find any treasures, but there was a lot of gold. So it made up for it. I'm not going to give them a 10 because of the trinkets and stuff like that, but it's still a 9. Pater description, again, is a 10. Really, really good description. Probably one of the best websites I've ever been to. Pater quantity and packaging, this one again was over 10, over the pound stated. It was a pound and I think 11 ounces. The bags are really thick, so it's a 9.5. Customer service and shipping, again, customer service was a 10. Shipping was really slow, so they got a 6, so a grand total, 8. Total score for lesser family golds, treasure sack number 3, is a 8.7. So much better than the last bag, even much better than the bags before that. And if you... The shipping would have been on time. The score would have actually been a 9.1 with a higher shipping. So, but I'm going to say a couple little things about this, Pater, that still have me a little bit perplexed. And that's one of these things is the copper. So they say you find copper in this, and I did find copper. And again, I will try to zoom this in as close as possible. But as you can see, all these ones over here, they all have letters or numbers on them. So I've had some suggestions from some of my earlier post that they think they might be the holes punched out from necklaces from coins and stuff and i honestly don't know what they are but they're obviously man-made so it's you know finding a little piece of somebody's junk <laughs> isn't my idea of treasure i mean it just isn't if it had been natural copper that's really cool it's something you know unique and all that but you know finding someone's junk just isn't my forte I, i'm not a big fan of it you know the trinkets i'm not a fan of I didn't mind the silver, but one thing I will say about the Lesser Family Gold is they are one of the very, very few places at Sal Pater that you can actually go to and mine with them. And once I'm able and physically better, I plan on visiting them. Their prices are pretty good, so I think it's a really unique experience. It shows you that they're real true miners, that you can go up there and mine with them. And even if I never bought their Paydirt again, I would definitely go up there. And if you like vacations, it sounds like a good vacation to go up there and mine with them. So that's it for me for today. See you next week. I've got two good reviews for next week. Until then, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's the one right down here. See, it's down here. That Click that. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Thanks as always.